I just went to the cleaners with my mom and we are heading home. I'm probably gonna make some lunch. And then this afternoon I'll be heading to the barn. Sweats on sweats and my sneakers. Hey guys, I just got to the barn, as you can see. The vet is coming today, but I am here extremely early. It's 1.35. The vet is coming at 3 o'clock. He was supposed to be here at 2, but that is all good. I can groom Lex, but yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought I would take you around the barn. Okay, so this is my tack locker, my stirrups, my bit, or sorry, my bridle, my stirrup covers. Moving on, I have all of my grooming stuff, first aid and extra stuff underneath. And then on top is my saddle pad and helmet, and then my half pad, and then my saddle. So this is the barn itself. It's eight stalls. We walk further down. You can see all of the stalls themselves. Um, anyways, let's go into the arena. I am going to jump out to go get Lexington, bring him back in, and groom him. So we are here with Lexington. <laughs> Look at that loose lip. Look at that loose lip. Yeah. Yeah. He puts up with so much for me. It's hilarious. Um, just using this kind of brush to curry him because he's quite sensitive in the winter and I don't like using a legit curry. I just use this one.
so we are done grooming. I also thought I'd show you my outfit of the day. I am wearing the TKEQ Equestrian Athletics sweatshirt, the Struck breeches, and I love them so much. I'm also wearing my Ariat field boots. Anyways, I also hate driving in rain boots, so I thought I'd rather get my field boots a little mucky opposed to my Uggs that I usually wear in the winter or my white sneakers that will turn brown. Okay, so I just broached Lexington's Maine. As some of you may know, I have a blog post out and it is called How to Roach a Maine in Three Simple Steps. And we did the first step today, which is the initial cut. Um, and it looks pretty awful. It needs time to kind of spring back up. And then, yeah, it should be good by the end of this week. So I can do my second cut, which is fixing everything up because it's super uneven right now. <laughs> So it is three and we are still waiting on the vet. Um, I roached his mane, I groomed him, I showed you guys my outfit and I've never done a vet visit before and I'm kind of nervous just because, you know, I've only leased horses. So no PPEs, no examinations and even when like Lexington got his shots, I, I didn't actually have to do anything and same with his teeth being floated because the facility I was at before organized it all for me, which I didn't exactly want because I like to be hands-on in the process of everything, and I encourage you guys to be because that's the only way that you'll really learn. Um, so yay for new ex learning experiences. Oh, you're fine, Bubba. So the vet just left. Not the worst news, not the best news from the vet. He gets another week off and we're just going to be sweating his left hind leg with the Fura zone. So hopefully that will help everything go down and that'll take care of his left hind leg. Beamboozle. Hello. I'm a little bit frustrated. So I'm off to Shoppers Drug Mart to Back to the barn yet again. Give some free money. Does anybody want to Sweat Lex and then finally go home. <laughs> 